Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the personal story segment tonight. Last April, Geraldo Rivera and I had a gentle conversation about criminal illegal aliens and a system that allows them to access our nation. But he doesn't he have is, a right to be commit here. a felony. He, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a right to be in this country. What? But that has nothing to do with the yes, fact that he does. was a drunk. He should have been he deported. Was a drunk. What a, he, he should have been deported. Do you, and this mayor and the police chief didn't deport him. Listen, do you know how many people we have in jail? How many of them are illegal aliens? Illegal aliens commit crimes at a lower rate than citizens do. This guy they shouldn't do. have been here. Cool your jets. That has nothing to do with illegal aliens. It has to do with drunk driving. It does Don't, don't obscure he a tragedy. To make a cheap political if point. I'm the father. It is a cheap political no, point. No, it isn't. And you know this it. is justice. This has nothing to do you with that want poor mayor. All right. Now, we're talking about the Virginia Beach situation where an illegal alien drunk driver with a sheet, a rap sheet, killed two teenagers. And my position was, obviously, he shouldn't have been in the country. Well, that dust up created so much controversy that publishers wanted to hear what Mr. Rivera thought in depth. The result is a new book called His Panic. Why Americans Fear Hispanics in the USA. Mr. Rivera joins us now. Now, do I get a royalty on this? Yeah, you definitely get a big mention. Um, <laughs> well, I know, but it's not that nice a mention. Oh, I don't think so. It's uh, a fair no, mention. Yeah, look, you, uh, you didn't cheap shot this, uh, as far as I'm concerned. I don't have any beef there. Um, but I think people want to know um, exactly how you have arrived at your conclusion. So my, my position is any illegal alien convicted of any crime, misdemeanor or felony, does their time immediately deported. You oppose that, right? Well, here's what I opposed, and this is why that incident was so cathartic and it was the catalyst for the book. In researching and in going back to American history, particularly beginning with the Irish in the mid-19th century, 1840s, 1850s, the potato famine, all the rest of it, what I noticed was the media reaction, the nativist reaction to those immigrants flooding in was the same as the reaction today. These people are bringing diseases. These people are undermining the value of our society. These people are bringing terrorism. And it always has to do with the Hispanics. Why? Because look at the pictures we're showing right now. We're talking about illegal immigration. We're not specifically talking about Mexicans. And yet these are the images that are served up to the American people day after day. What we are seeing now is a repetition, the most recent example of the same cycle. Immigrants come, the people already here, uh, blame them for everything from disease to crime to terror. But isn't there one big difference? The Irish came legally here. But, they didn't come illegally, and but, neither did the Italians or the other Europeans but this who came is, over. But that's that's that's. But the, isn't that a that's big the catch twenty two, Bill? There were no laws against immigration. No, when you the had Irish to go through came. Ellis Island. Right. There was you no Ellis Island. Yet. Ellis Island came later. The first laws against Ill illegal immigration were the Chinese Exclusion Acts of eighteen eighty. No Chinese, because the people out west were so offended that we brought all these Chinese to build our railroads. The people got together, they lobbied, they got the. U.S. government to pass a law excluding all Chinese. Let me finish. Now that's 1882. The then from, from 1882 until 1921, that's when the Italians come. That's when the Germans come. That's when the European Jews come. In 1921, we passed the National Origins Act. What does that do? That says now there is legal aliens or legal immigration and illegal immigration. Legal immigration, you want to come here? You, uh, yeah, you have to do it through an order. No, no, but it is a racial... Quota. quota. It's a right. If you come from the United Kingdom, Scandinavia, or Ireland in 1924, you get 76% of the visas. The Italians get 3%. The Mexicans get zero. Because we, they wanted educated no, people No, no, Bill. It's in. not about education. You thought it was, it was about skin color? It is about skin color. Now? They call it the National Origins All right, let Act. me ask you a question. If, if Swedes were coming in at the rate of a million right. a month, you don't think that there's... Can you imagine, you answer your own question, can you imagine, here's, here's uh, you know, uh, Rufus and Mabel sitting and watching TV. Oh, come on, we've got to get motivated. Call the CIA, call the FBI, call the NHL. The Swedes are coming over the northern border. It is inconceivable. In Race an age of terror, you think America... Race is at right. the heart I of this debate. It's hard to debate that issue. Look, you know me pretty well. I have no beef, and I've said that many times, about people who are here working hard, law-abiding. I don't think we give them amnesty, but I think we look at them on a case by case. But it's the criminal. You and I separate on the criminal deal. And that's your weakness and your argument weakness. America's got enough problem with its own criminals. 
If you have an out of control madness situation, as you had on the southern border, it's madness. It's better now, but when we were fighting last April, it was madness. And then you have a certain men of those people coming over committing crimes, and you know the gangs from El Salvador, the drug dealing, and it's not just Hispanics, it's Russians, it's a whole bunch of people. Those people do not deserve to be here and have to be swiftly deported from this country, and you should be behind that. 97% of all over 97 percent of all the people in our prisons federal state and local are citizens they are here legally illegal aliens are not the problem that commentators who choose to make this a social issue make them out to be they do commit crimes at a lower rate and how but is they it? still commit crimes but just but yesterday a drunk transsexuals commit crimes doesn't Blondes matter commit crimes it doesn't matter james the stage manager the probably commits crimes the big difference is that we are allowing people to come here who shouldn't be here just yesterday in minnesota another drunken illegal alien bangs into a school bus kill, killing kids now could that have happened with an american sure and it Absolutely. does at a far greater but rate if the government was responsible and wouldn't allow what they've allowed that illegal alien would not be here but don't would you see the effect here. of your reporting that minnesota incident isn't it wouldn't it be fair instead of pointing out to the one illegal alien who had that accident there were 5,000 illegal aliens no. yesterday that took good care of a baby. No, because that, the problem that committed is some act of random kindness. The problem that donated money to charity. That worked no. hard to put their we, children that's in not school. What reporting You're is. generating a hatred against well, this group. I don't believe I am, and I've said many no, times. No, and I, that listen, I would. listen, listen. I, I feel for you as a buddy, as a friend, and I really appreciate the fact that you are much more moderate on this issue than many flame-throwing conservatives. But there are some facts here that the American people ought to hear. For instance, when 650,000 Irish were coming to our shores in that period, 1840, 1850, that's the same time that the United States were throwing the Mexicans out of the Southwest and conquering territory they from Texas to New okay. Mexico to look, Arizona. Your book is you saw Nevada, I, re California. I recommend your book. It's interesting. Thank you. It was a different country back in 1840. We needed people here. Now we need labor here, but we need legal labor. You have a blind spot on the criminal deal. That's my opinion, and I'm going to the grave with it. All right, well, you, what? when you write your book, I'll put you on my I side. want people to check out His Panic, Geraldo Rivera. You like the title? Yeah, we should have screamed and yelled a little bit. Okay. More, right? <laughs> and if we did, maybe you would have got another book. Oh, okay, who are you? You would have got another <laughs> book, Rivera. I'll take you outside after the show. Yeah. <laughs> and I want royalties from this thing. Right back with a huge like body language segment tonight featuring a bizarre Oscar occurrence. Wait till you see this. And John McCain ripping into the New York Times directly ahead.